Okay, we're almost done with this guy. And then we can put the numbers on and stuff as we, we can paint those on. But the carving portion, I think it's almost finished. I'm just working on the back part of his pants right now. And um, I'm going to see if there's anything else to the helmet that I need to do. <clears throat> so we'll have this coming down. Again, you want to go around and clean everything up that you that you can clean up. Right here behind where his pants are. Just gonna clean that up a little bit. And round that off a little bit more. That'll be the separation from his pants to his jersey. Alright, and that looks pretty good, folks. We're going to stop there, I think. I'm going to take another look and see if there's anything else I need to do. And if not, I'm going to come back with it painted in a couple of days. Well, maybe tomorrow I'll paint it. We'll see how my, how my schedule is tomorrow. Um, but that's what it looks like. I think it was a lot of fun to do this. I like to get a little bit more of a butt on him on the back. Here, there we go. Let's scoop this out just a little bit more. Give it a little more shape. Go back to the V tool, wherever that may be. And we're going to cut right across. All right. Cut this out a little bit. Now it's a matter of just cleaning things up. All right. So let me take a look at something here real quick while I have that going and I'm going to see if um, there's anything else on that helmet that I need to put on there. I think most of that's painted on. It's not stuff that sticks out on the helmet. So when we go to paint we'll put the stripes on it and stuff and we'll, we'll take care of all that uh, kind of stuff on it. You know, I'll figure out where to go with the stripes. And I think we'll make this the little eagle guy. Or the same colors as the, the Philadelphia Eagles. And, uh... I think some of you might get upset with that. But you can make them anything you want. Whatever your hometown, you know, hometown football team is. It's not right or wrong either way. So you can paint it any way you like. All right, so that's our little football player. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let's do his um, let's do his shoes a little bit yet before we close. Oops, going the wrong way here. What I mean by that, we're going to put a uh, a heel on it. So that's just a matter of putting a stop cut across is coming down okay and we'll put that across again and we'll make that a little deeper there we go and then the also so the other thing I do is I just do a little V cut right at the corner to separate the heel with the sole of the shoe and uh, I bring this down a little bit on the top okay and then the other thing I do is I take the V tool and I make a little bit of a of a uh, lip there for the separation of the sole and the shoe. Okay, 
just a little adds a little more detail. Then I go back and I just clean this off a little bit. Alright. That's what it should look like without that little black mark. These are going to be black anyway. I'm not too worried about that. But um, that's what I do. And, and what I'm going to do too is I'm going to go back and redefine my lines and make sure everything's cleaned up before I paint it. And I'll do the other foot the same way. You know, come down here and go across it and do a nice little V cut. A little bit deeper. And then go over here and do my corners a little bit. Alright. And then take my V tool and to do the the sole of the and make that stick out a little bit. This was a fun project to do, folks, I have to say. I was trying to think what else I could do, and I thought, ah, super bolts here. May as well try to do something like this, okay? So I have a lot of cleanup to do, but uh, it's pretty well done. And I think we have plenty of detail on them right now. So yeah, he'll look really nice. I'll probably um, paint the bottom part different, of course, than the shirt and stuff. So. Um, Hopefully, um, the other thing we can also do for a little bit of uh, extra look to it, we can put a couple of stripes right here, like one here and one right behind it to give it a little bit of a nice look. Okay, and the same thing over here. Um, we'll go up this way. Go down this way. Put one right behind it. All right. So that way you you have um, you know uh, a little bit. Not, we'll paint that the different colors like white or green. Maybe that white, green, white. And this is dark green, so I'll figure out a color scheme. Let me take a, little, take a look at the hat too and see if there's anything more. But I think we're pretty well finished with this until I come back and and paint it with you and, and show you what it looks like painted. All right, folks, thanks so much for joining me here on the Carver's Wood Shop. I enjoyed doing these projects with you, and I'll show you the end result after it's painted, and I'll explain to you then how it was painted and what I used. All right, take care, folks. Bye bye.